And you guys, this was probably, this was a really difficult idea. You guys, nobody told me, you know, it wasn't going to be simple. I figured I could get these suckers cracked and get me a freaking banana nut bread going that had nuts that I freaking picked and foraged. But I didn't know that I needed to collect at least two to three times the amount I was going to hope to wind up with. And I didn't know that half the suckers were going to be hollow because I didn't know that some nuts have to, they have to be, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but they have to be pollinated for the nut to produce inside of there. And even a healthy tree apparently can give a third to two thirds hollow shells. Plus you got to count ones that will wind up lost to mold or bug damage. And I just figured that out after hours of trying to figure out how I was going to get them open. Once I found a great way, only to discover, wait, we have to backtrack. And now, guys, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do a floating test. And the ones that float, hopefully that'll predict which ones are going to be hollow. And I can just not waste my time cracking every single one to find out. We got a pot of water, guys. Let's throw these bad boys in here. And apparently you can test at either stage. Well, looks like oh, the whole lot's floaters, guys. <laughs> and I'm not even going to get one good nut. That's okay. <laughs> I'll be back. We're going to see. The whole lot shot, guys. Guys, I just have to laugh at that. You live and you learn. And at least it forced me to learn the knowledge and, and we'll be better prepared next time. So it's not a loss. It's just funny, but. And it's still walnut picking season, so you know what? We just gotta go collect more nuts. I am I think I'm gonna take a pot of water out there, though, because I'm not bringing back home the ones that float. Not this time. <laughs>